tonight, the price of gas continues to go up as Oklahoma drivers feel the pinch. Thank you for joining us. I'm Amy Slanchik. AAA says the national average cost of a gallon of regular gas is now more than $5, up from 308 just a year ago. In Oklahoma, drivers are paying about 464 for a gallon. News on 6's Ashlyn Brothers is live with one solution some people are turning to. Ashlyn. Amy, Larry Williamson says while many people are paying more than $4 per gallon of gas, he's spending less than half that. Drivers across the country are cringing as the price at the pump goes up. But Larry Williamson says he knows a good deal when he sees one. We're filling up here for $1.05 per gallon. A dollar and five cents per gallon. But not so fast. That's because Williamson drives a compressed natural gas car. The only way a large number of people are going to be able to get CNG cars is by putting pressure on car manufacturers who sell vehicles in America to offer Americans at least, you know, one or two or three options of being able to buy a factory built dedicated true CNG vehicle. The city of Tulsa says it has two public CNG stations. The current price for natural gas at those stations is about $1.83 per gallon. If several million more Americans were driving clean burning CNG cars, instead of exporting a lot of our natural gas and importing more than 6 million barrels a day of crude oil, we could be energy independent again. Williamson says the benefits don't stop at the pump. The price per gallon isn't the whole story. He says this car gets about 28 to 30 miles per gallon in the city and roughly 38 on the highway with the air conditioning on. Put out about 25% less CO2 than a gasoline car, almost no NOx, no SO3, almost no carbon monoxide, almost no unburnt hydrocarbons. They answer all the environmental questions. He says CNG cars are very simple. It's not an exciting car to drive. It's not blindingly fast or anything like just a normal driving car. Williamson tells me it takes the same amount of time to fill up a CNG car, but one of the drawbacks is fueling stations are harder to come by. Live in Tulsa, Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.